Welcome, my lovely Scorpios, to your singles reading for June. We're going to go ahead and see all the possible energies coming in for you this month, my lovely Scorpios. If the messages that come through do not resonate with you, please go ahead and look at your moon rising and Venus signs as they could have more relevant or more pertinent information for you. Well, that one definitely wanted to jump out, so we'll just pull it. Okay, so we're going to start off with the oracle cards just to get the main idea of what's coming through. And then we're going to get much more detail and further insight with the tarot. Right, so the first things that are coming through for you, um, my dear Scorpios, is religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So this is just telling that us for a lot of you, your the way that you um, bring up you you know in terms of a relationship, the way that you bring up your children, the way that you manage your day to day activities, it's very important for you that your partner is of the same faith is whether it's religion or spirituality perhaps in a previous relationship you were of different religions or you know different spiritual beliefs and it caused you know a little bit of friction and it was hard to build a foundation and you've now decided that going forward it's you're going to make sure whether it's religious or spiritual that you're both both on the same page you have the same values and the same beliefs because that way you'll build a solid foundation for a lot of you children are coming into the picture so this could mean many things it could mean that you already have children or that you want children and it could also be that you you know it's very important for you to find somebody who doesn't want children but the children think for you it's coming through saying that with the relationship that comes up it's going to be a um a deal breaker for you so if you really want children you're not going to you're going to be upfront about it and say listen this is what i want i want kids and if the person says i'm sorry that's not for me that would be a deal breaker for you so children is a very important factor that's coming through here yeah. Great. Let me just make sure that you guys can see everything nice and clearly. All right. So, life purpose. I think you're at a stage, a lot of you guys, that you want somebody now who is more serious. It's not, you're not looking for a fling, you're not looking for a winter or a summer romance. You want somebody now that can go the distance with you and that might just mean you know a lot be in a committed long-term relationship or it could mean actually going further with you know marriage and starting a family but you now want some you I think for a lot of you you're tired of just the flings and the you know messing around you want something serious something stable something that you can actually put roots down with and move forward and the forgiveness card is just coming in. I think we'll just clarify and see if anything comes up with the tarot. Just saying that for some of you, you might be carrying a residue from a past relationship that needs to be forgiven and needs to be released because you don't need to take this into your new relationship. So for those of you, and this won't be for everybody, who've just got some healing to do, so to let go of something, some forgiveness to take place, it could be forgiving somebody, it could be forgiving you, but the message is coming through, it's time. Do what you need to do to release this so that you can move forward. All right, so let's take our tarot now and see what additional messages we can get for our lovely Scorpios right we've okay so we've definitely got a hurt for a lot of you that came in from a past relationship that needs to be looked at and needs to be healed and look at that ten of cups so it's fantastic because I uh, let me just, you know what let me just pull everything and then we're going to look at everything okay Scorpio, it's such a such a clear reading here. Okay, so for for a lot of you, there was a past relationship that I can see was very very toxic. It could have been various things for 
for, for, for each of you, you know, it could have been somebody who just brought you down all the time, who was very um, obsessive, very um, obsessed with you, very, um, you know, just kind of didn't let you be the person that you are, dimmed your light, put you down all the time. And that when you, when you actually released yourself from this, this being chained into this toxic a really unhealthy relationship, you were left very, very hurt. And probably it took some time to get over it. But you did, what, whatever happens, you have to know that the, it was the best thing for you to get out of it. I mean, it could have had to do with perhaps your spirituality or your religious factors. There could have been so, a lot of conflict around that. It could have been a lot of conflict around having children, not having children. But I can see that it really... It left you very broken hearted and very hurt and that it caused you quite a lot of sleepless nights, especially when you were in the relationship. And even when you got out of it, it's, ta it's taking time to heal. And there is just whatever that is, it's just come up because there is some still some work to be done in terms of healing. And it's worthwhile doing that work, my lovely Scorpios, because there is somebody coming. There's somebody coming and he's, he's presenting as the King of Cups. Now, this doesn't matter if you're a masculine or feminine. It's just the energy of the King of Cups. And who is the King of Cups? The King of Cups is a very emotionally mature person. So what you had here was completely the opposite, a very toxic, immature a person in terms of emotions and brought you down so they could feel, you know, big and I think there was a lot of possessive and a lot of negativity. It just was so unhealthy. This person comes in the complete opposite. He or she is stable, solid, kind, generous, and they have a high emotional IQ. Okay. And they are able to offer you your 10 of cups. This is, this, this person comes in. It's like the universe is giving you a gift saying, we know what you've been through. And not every, people are not like that. It was a bad experience. Unfortunately, you had to go through it because by going through it, you're going to see what you deserve and what you need. You have to let go of what happened. Take it as just something you had to go through. A learning curve. We don't know the reasons why, but the universe says it's over now. And it's now your time to get your happily ever after. And the happily ever after my lovely Scorpios, is whatever you want. If it's to being in a long-term relationship, being with um, your dream partner, living separately, living together, getting married, having the kids, whatever it is for you, you're going to get your Ten of Cups because the universe said you've been through your lesson. You, you went through what you had to go through and it was not easy. I can see that it was not an easy time. Really, for a lot of you, it was not an easy time. But the time is coming. Because you now know what you want and you've you determined to not accept anything less. And they're coming. They're presenting as the King of Cups. Oh, I love that for you. This looks so nice. Big rewards from the universe. Right, I'm just going to pull an additional energy card for you to see the best energy for you to tap into this month. And we get the magnificent 33 card. It's a very powerful card. The Horse Spirit freedom is yours. You are free now and you need to know that you are free. You are free from whatever this was, whatever this was, whatever this is. It's over. Let go of that last bit of forgiveness that needs to take place because that will allow this new wonderful energy in. Amazing. Scorpio, lots to look forward to. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up. And I'm sending you all lots and lots of love.